Hi, I'm Ivan Ui, Intel APJ Sales Account Manager covering Australia, New Zealand and Singapore. Have you heard about Intel Market Ready Solution? What is Market Ready Solution? In short, Intel Market Ready Solution are scalable, repeatable end-to-end -end solutions based on Intel architecture and technology that are currently available in the market, provided by Intel IoT ecosystem partners. Today joining me is Haminda, who is from iOmnison, one of Intel's market ready solution partner. iOmnison is a 20 years old vision-based AI company. A smart city vision-based solution are powered on Intel Xeon and core processors and optimized on Intel Open Reno. iOmnison's patented multi-sensory AI platform excels well in any busy and un control environments such as public spaces, government buildings, traffic intersections, theme parks, shopping malls, etc., etc., with a minimal infrastructure. To share more about their solution, let's welcome Haminda, business consultant from iOmnisense. Good day to all of you. Firstly, I would like to thank Intel for this great platform and each of you for taking the time to sit through this webinar session. I am Harminder, a business consultant from iOmnisian, which is the foremost technology leader in video analytics, and I'm here today to present to you on how our artificial intelligence solution can, make, can help make your city or environment much safer, secure, smarter, in an efficient and cost-effective way. In the past, we are all aware of several terrorist incidents that took place around the globe in countries like Istanbul, Belgium, the UK, France, Bangkok, etc. We had lost innocent lives despite having world-class surveillance systems in place. For instance, the bomb blast incident that took place in Brussels airport they had the best recording system, cameras, and ground operations team. Yet, two assassins being on the watch list could not be identified before the incident. But what if they had Iomnesian's artificial intelligence system in place, such as our facial recognition, then we would, be, then we would have stopped them from entering the airport. What if they had entered the airport and left the bag then our an video analytics would have detected the abandoned bag and if they had installed our smell sensors, this would have enabled the identification of the type of chemical composite in the bag, resulting in the whole incident being avoided. And all of this only Iomnesian can do in real time and in real time alerts, with real time alerts. It is a fact that for security purposes, many cameras are installed and continuous video recording is taking place. In a normal scenario, these hundreds of monitors installed on the video wall are monitored by human operators. According to a market survey by the US Defense Research Lab, it is proven that if a well-trained human operator is asked to watch only two monitors, they are missing almost everything that is more than 95% of the information just after 22 minutes. That is close to having no information at all, which confirms that human brain cannot handle large amount of information such as video. Human is good in making judgments, whereas Iamnesian's artificial in intelligence system can analyze what is important in the videos and alert to human operators as to when and what to look at. In the past, cameras were installed in high locations so that they cover the maximum areas. They were placed in no proper objective in mind. For instance, this person could be a violator or could be trying to steal a car. But when the operator tries to identify the person, and they try to zoom into the image 
they lose all resolution and the picture gets pixelated, resulting in losing all evidence against this person. At iMnesian, the camera placement is a key building block to achieve the use case and customer specific objectives. The final stage of this of a system is the response. Traditionally, these response have been manual. An alarm is raised in a control center and a human will ring around and initiate some action. Let us use an example to describe the automated response capability from Iomnesian. Artificial intelligence is about building a system that stimulates the thinking of a human. Humans rely on different centers to understand their environment. Iomnesian offers a comprehensive suite of analytics based on video, sound, and smell to replicate human understanding of what is happening in real time. Protected by 45 patents, the company has a monopolistic position when operating in complex and crowded scenes. Our smart city solution is a comprehensive solution that covers the variety, the, the varying needs of different stakeholders who are all working to improve the safety, security, and efficiency of the city. The technology is not built and run in a lab environment. It has been proven into real life environments in 30 different industries, including prisons, banks, universities, police, and others. And for each of these, we have a solution set to address their specific real life problems. We can cover many complex use cases making use of many of our unique algorithms, sometimes with, a, with our multi-sensor capabilities. We can track suspects or vehicles from place to place across non-overlapping overlapping cameras. If a person abandons an object, the system can automatically add him to a watch list, track his whereabouts, and help to apprehend him. The system can establish the waiting time in a very long queue at the airport. The system can differentiate between a person slipping and falling and one who is shot. Our automated response ASAP capability can locate the nearest first responder and send relevant information to his smartphone, reducing the response time by from the usual 30 minutes down to, two, down to under two minutes. And finally, the company has, a pat has patented the capability that enables the intelligence systems to be implemented at zero incremental cost, mainly by significantly reducing the usage of storage and bandwidth. We have been driving evolution for 19 years now. When we talk about video management system or a recording system, which is the foundation of CCTV system, it is fine as long as it is recording. The next level is PSIM, generally known as the Physical Security Information System, Man Information Management System, or has, or as situational awareness. In a building scenario, we have several systems like CCTV, fire, air conditioning, and so on. PSIM helps to link all of these different systems to a single user interface, so to provide easy access to any operator. Now, in case of an emergency, say a fire is reported by human operator. Then the operator will need to go through a set of operational procedures manually as to how to handle a fire situation, which can, at, which can be time consuming. But for our automated response system, we will try to take over many of these manual, repetitive, and lengthy incidents that have taken up a lot of your operator's time. Our system will automate all of these steps with the right response involving the latest of human interventions, which are the two red dots in the graph. In this case, your operators will have more time to handle exceptions or more critical in the incidents. We have a broad industry coverage when it comes to advanced video analytics solutions. We have 30 plus industries from major events to defense applications. Like for hospitals, we make them smarter and secure. 
we make a parking lot more efficient, an airport more manageable, a bank more protective and secure. Talking about smart city, we thoroughly need to understand our customer's requirements so we can provide him or her with the correct solution. They can be into security or safety, but actually these two always go hand in hand. Or they could only be concerned about the operational functions of the city and be concerned as to how we can help them to be more efficient. Now, if the customer is more into security, then they will be very interested to know if they can track criminals or suspected persons movement or blacklisted vehicles movements all of these we can do with our facial recognition sensor we can track the vehicle movement by understanding the license plate but there are also other things that we can do like crowd management for instance in a very crowded scenario like this we can draw the most crowded area and keep a count of the people in that area but if there is a very sudden drop or a huge rise in the number of persons in the same area, this could indicate a risk. So our system would be able to send an alert immediately. In another video, in another scenario, nowadays people are very concerned about the security measures, especially if they are government buildings like embassies. Now, if a suspicious vehicle stops outside the embassy, and it stops due to traffic issues, then we will, o we will overlook it. But if it stops and it takes longer than the allocated time, then we will pick it up and send, it and send out the alert. Like this white truck. Now we can only handle a limited number of vehicles at a time. We can also position the camera to read the license plate by zooming in. In a highly secured government building, we have very tight security standards. This system is in place in Iraq to safeguard their mosque. When a person wants to enter the building, both his vehicle license plate as well as the person, the driver, must pass authorization. Only then will he gain access into the building. Now, in a large building site or factories, each employee has an access card and in order to have entry into the building they have to swipe their cards when someone is not able to come to work they can hand over their access card to either a friend or a family member who comes to work in place of them and in this way they do not lose out on their wages but with our facial recognition systems in place we are able to validate this information of their access card and as a second level of authentication, we can state that the person and the information of the access card are the same as per the access room records. Thus, we are able to state if the employee is an authorized person or not. Now talking about road and traffic systems. Let's say on a freeway, we can track vehicle behavior. If a car suddenly stops or is traveling in the wrong direction or on the wrong side of the road, then an alert about the same can be sent to the traffic control room. In city limits, if a camera is focused on the major intersection of crossroads, then we can analyze these vehicle traffic and the pedestrians at that section. How accident prone the signal, traffic signal is or if any vehicle or person is trying to jaywalk or violate the signal. With the gain information, we can regulate the traffic in a more orderly fashion without any human intervention. In a tunnel, we can do smoke and fire detection. If a vehicle stops or is traveling in the wrong direction, we can send out an alert. If a bicycle is not supposed to use the tunnel or a person is, being, is seen walking, all this can be detected and alerted to the control room. Again, we need to understand the objective of our intelligence system. Is it for improving the efficiency enforcing the traffic regulation or improving safety. We all know that retail in the retail environment is often crowded with several operational operations all occurring simultaneously. The retail industry's main aim is to increase sales and if and to achieve this retailers need to have a good understanding of their customers. What is the peak hours? 
when they get the highest numbers of customers, which floors or departments has, the cus has more visitors, understand customer experience, their visiting frequencies, length, throughout the shopping center to increase sales, knowing the length of his visit, what department he likes to visit, how much time he has spent in the queue, having this information can help the retailer to provide the top class service to his customer and Iomnesian can do this for you. For security reason, Iomnesian system can be used to identify theft, particularly any high value items. Our facial recognition system can be used to identify shoplift shoplifters despite of very crowded shopping concourse. For operational reason, IQ Retail can do crowd management, crowd counting, queue management, and dwell time management. License plate reading and providing better parking facilities to VIPs and senior citizens. For safety reasons, IQ Retail can detect water spills to prevent slips and falls, detect fire and smoke in high ceiling environments, detect if someone has slipped or is one, if one is running or is falling down. It can also give out alerts if there is a sudden overcrowding in a certain area of, of the floor or if there is a sudden movement out of a certain area of the floor. Recognition. We talked about our behavior analytics. Now it's, it comes to, to recognition capability. There are only two types of recognition. License plate recognition for vehicles and facial recognition for people. Only Iomnesian have both of these capabilities. Each type of the recognition consists of two steps, detection and recognition. License plate detection involves detecting the plate in the image and license plate recognition, LPR, involves matching the image with a provided database resulting in the identification of the specific vehicle. Iomnesian mi multilingual license plate recognition can recognize plates from more than 130 countries. It can recognize car in high speed, such as 200 kilometers per hour. With Iomnesian's facial recognition in a crowd, the first step, facial recognition, involves the capturing of a face in a crowd. Facial recognition involves matching the face with a database and identifying the individual. Iomnesian has the only, Iomnesian is the only player which can do many to many, such as 75 faces in a single shutter, all in a very low resolution, such as 22 pixels between the eyes. More than that, Iomnesian can provide multiple recognition, such as driver match, where both vehicles number, vehicles plate, and drivers need. Converging behavioral analytics recognition, IQ Hawk. In the past, it was assumed that detection and identification products had to work separately as they required different types of cameras and had different camera placement requirements. But with the introduction of IQ Hawk internationally patented, both detection and identification can be performed on the same camera at the same time. No other company in the world owns both of these recognition capabilities. Only Iomnesian can do that. Facial recognition is about understanding the face geometry, such as the distance between the eyes, eyes to nose, nose to mouth, to confirm this is John Doe or John Smith. Traditional face recognition systems require very big frontal face with high resolution to understand the face geometry or measurements. This type of system is good for access control, like opening the door or password control. But if the face turns slightly, this traditional system will suffer and will have difficulty to recognize. Therefore, you need to have a cooperative individual to make this system work. But you cannot ask Mr. Criminal to stand still, don't move, look straight, let the system take a good picture, then let the person go. Iomnesian strength is to be able to recognize faces, 75 faces to be exact, give or take, in a crowd with non-cooperative individuals. We can track each face and be able to take three best images of the same person to create a 3D model to understand the depth of the, of the faces. 
even the face turn with a wider face angle in the video world, about 30 degrees in any direction, we can still know that if this person is John Doe or John Smith. We require very low resolution, 22 pixels, the distance between the eyes, to be able to recognize the person. So one of one megapixel camera can allow us to see faces at 8 to 10 meters of distance. With two megapixel cameras, we can see double the distance, like 20 meters. Our system won't stop working even if you give us lower than 22 pixels. We can recognize even at 12 pixels, but we may need to send more matches if we are not sure at this low resolution. Since our facial recognition technology is so strong, we can build many use cases on top of it, such as we can track person or a person or persons across different cameras, like tracking a suspect for police, finding lost children, identifying shoplifters in a shopping mall environment. We have many other use cases, including the access control on the move, 3D authentication to confirm this is a real face when you are doing online banking and it is not holding someone else's photo trying to log in. We can also offer business analytics for airports, for the theme parks, for shopping malls to understand the average dwell time of visitors and etc. Omnisian's patented smart video compression capa capability has many benefits. Not only it can reduce the cost of storage and network bandwidth, for instance, a 5 megapixel camera, the costs are reduced by 200 times. In other words, if the storage cost would normally be $200 with IQ Hawk, the cost reduced to one. It can also make video transmissions possible as the cloud, as in the cloud, as we are only transmitting relevant sections to the cloud. We have a flexible architecture. The system can be placed remotely or on the cloud or on premise. We will recommend the right architecture that will suit you the most. We have developed our own process to ensure successful projects. We are objective basis. We always start with customers' problems list or their wish list. And it's at the very end is when we ask the customer to choose the right camera based on the required analytics requirement. It is not just about having many strong analytics capabilities. It is important that we have all these in-depth knowledge from camera selection to industry know-how that we can share with you and to ensure that we always have a winning proposal and a successful project at the end. We have successfully deployed projects in 45 countries and we have 30 plus specific industry solutions. We provide a totally integrated solution that everything works with everything. Lastly, I would like to say thank you for taking the time to sit through this session and I would be happy to address any questions you may have in our Q&A session. When businesses want big results, they go to big places and take their big ideas to the big cheese. But they should really be thinking small, like serving more customers during the lunch rush, detecting defective products earlier in the manufacturing process, or cutting the time to get x-rays analyzed to save more lives. In your business, small could mean a missing screw or a bad circuit, because it's the smallest things that make the biggest difference. That's why Intel Vision Technology helps businesses see it all, because everything matters. Hamida, that was a great, great presentation, right? Um, how do you feel about it? Well, uh, it's a first time experience for me and uh, I enjoyed it very much and I want to thank Intel one more time for this great platform. Okay. So, uh, we are having some few a few questions online. Yep. Uh, hopefully that we can address. Sure. Um, there's a Nowadays we hear a lot about privacy. Right. You know when we talk about video analytics we yes. hear a lot about privacy. Right. How do you protect the privacy of each individual? Well, um, our system has uh, the unique capability to mask or even uh, redact the faces that's being recorded. So when you walk into a public space or walk into a public building, for example, 
I mean, there are going to be cameras in, uh, installed, and you know, you will eventually be recorded, right? So the thing is, with this capability, we will, will be able to redact the person's face, right? And if there is an incident, then it's password protected, then we will be able to see actually who the person is involved mm -hmm. in that incident itself. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, privacy would come into play when, um, when if let's say, for example, our customer is uh, the government, right? For example, and uh, they wanted to protect a public space. And uh, they have a ready database of uh, criminals, right? And mm -hmm. then that's how when we uh, integrate our system to match and do a search against the database to identify known suspects, for mm -hmm. example. So mm -hmm. then the authority body uh, needs to have the rights mm -hmm. to be able to actually identify the person. So mm -hmm. IMNESEN does not have a database per se. We would work with uh, no, uh, with uh, governments or even, for example, the police or uh, uh, immigration, for example, right? Okay. Uh, to, 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 to track or to identify people. Okay. All right? Yeah, th this will lead to another question by sure. uh, Vincent. Um, so he was asking so the security camera links to a police data bank for crimin criminal face scans? Yeah, so um, like I said earlier, so if you take a scenario, for example, a airport. Um, a catchment area, and uh, you basically place cameras at strategic locations to actually, uh, 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 what do you call that, uh, take pictures of people mm -hmm. who are mm -hmm. coming into the country, for example. Okay. And then you have a ready database. Uh, obviously, you will be integrating with either the database from the immigration or a police mm -hmm. for wanted people, uh, wanted lists. So that's how basically we'll be able to detect. We do not own our own database. Okay. All right. All right. So this will. This will ensure privacy. Yes. Protected. Yes. Okay. Um, leading to another question from online. Yeah. Uh, from Bawani. Yeah. Uh, the question is, how easy is it to procure the system, and um, how do you protect uh, the system from landing in being the wrong hands? Being misused. Right? Yeah, that's right. Right. Okay. Uh, the way we engage in market is basically uh, we talk to the customer directly. All right. Uh, be and if it's like for facial recognition or license plate recognition, it's usually with a regulatory body. Uh, it could be the Land Transport Office for license plate recognition, for uh, basically for issuing summons for speeding, for example, or even cars that are stolen, for example. Right. So that will be matched against in a, a, a database where they have a list of cars that have been stolen. So we normally work with regulatory bodies or government, and we qualify the need and the use of our analytics. So that's how we actually control to the sense that you know it's not going to be misused. And I can safely say that our analytics are not available on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> or other, other or online. Other, other online, uh, online, online uh, portals. Yes, that's right. OK. Um, so uh, this another question here. Uh, what is the required resolution uh, for the facial recognition? OK, we don't want to make things up, all right, uh, uh, and we, uh, when we do not have enough pixels, all right. So uh, we, our FR system can, can deal with very low resolutions up to 22 pixels, right? And uh, we can actually go lower than that. And uh, we have actually tested, and we can go as low as 12 pixels between the eyes. OK. Then uh, how far can you recognize the faces? Um, Okay, uh, with a one megapixel camera, we can we can go as far as eight to ten meters, right? Uh, if we have a four SIF camera, we can go as far as three meters, right? But uh, with the correct zoom lens, the field of view can go as far as fifty meters. Okay. All right. So there's another question here. Sure. In the case of public scale technology, has it been developed with input from the community and from designers? Could you repeat that question again, sorry? In the case of public skill technology, has it been developed with input from community and from design? Yes, well, it's usually normally through uh, use cases. When we qualify a requirement, we actually go in, listen to the customer, and we, because our we develop our analytics and our algorithms in-house. So we are able to customize uh, to a certain extent uh, what, based on what the customer's requirements are. So we do take in inputs, yes. Okay, so okay. The other things on the line is okay. How can you make sure this application is not misused by 
certain organization? I think that's a similar question. Yeah, that's a similar question. I, really like we are, like I said, we actually deal with the customers directly and we qualify the need and the use of our analytics before even proposing a solution to them. Right. So, uh, for example, uh, uh, if there is a prison within uh, a country uh, that we are looking for suicide prevention, for example, mm -hmm. okay, uh, that would fall under our our IQ prison, which is a solution set that is already market ready and it's already been implemented uh, in prisons around the globe. So we added on and enhanced our analytics to do to detect suicide prevention and also fighting. So these are things that we. Uh, got input from the end users and we developed it around it right so uh, we we cater the solution to the customer mm -hmm. right so it's not something uh, that would be basically used let's say for example for the prisons would be used in another scenario for example okay then this this next question is about the the hardware the intel hardware that you use yes. and the base uh, right. so what what's the Intel hardware that do you use for uh, optimizing the video analytics? Okay, um, what's the architecture? Okay, so uh, basically, uh, we can actually uh, we we can be the analytics can be deployed in a distributed environment or even uh, in a centralized environment. All right. Obviously, uh, our technology is built around the Intel the Intel chip, and uh, at the back end where the processing happens, uh, we run the the servers of uh, Intel Xeon chips, and at the front end, it's uh, Intel i9. Uh, for now, previously it was i7. Okay. So uh, another question on on about facial recognition. Sure. How many faces can you handle in each scene? Okay, uh, I would safely say unlimited, uh, as long as we meet the previously mentioned requirements, right? Uh, but we have tested in labs and uh, even in customers' environments, and it has yield, yielded 75 faces in a frame. Okay. Um, this question is, are there enough practical use cases for vehicle detection and tracking? And then do cameras really need to be deployed for vehicle analytics? Uh, well... Uh, analytics around vehicles, all right. So if you if you break that down, you have uh, license plate recognition. Uh, we also have counting. Uh, we have speed detection, depending on the use case, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where we would basically go in and advise the customer to say, okay, camera placement. How many cameras do you require? What are the resolutions that is? What are the specifications of the camera that is required? So it's it's on a case to case basis. Okay, and there's a question addressing the accuracy of the systems. How do you? Okay, once we have actually done the deployment, we actually do a little bit of training. Okay. All right. So we would, uh, we would, uh, uh, for different types of analytics, we there are different ranges of accuracy. All right. I, I, I cannot def say that definitely what the accuracies are, but it's on a case to case basis. Okay. Okay. There's, uh, wow. There's a lot of questions yes. coming through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to filter them. No worries. Okay. Uh, there's uh, how many video stream can the system analyze in real time, and how can this be scaled for multiple cameras? Uh, okay, that one, that question, I actually need to get back to you on that one. Uh, I will okay. check internally. So I, if, I you, if there's an email and all that, I will actually respond. To yeah, that. I, I assume that you probably need to sit down and understand the case first Correct. before yes, that's you right. do that, right? Yes. Um, like what we say, there are some questions here we can address in our email. Yes. So we will look through. There are plenty of qu questions coming through. Right. Uh, let me pick some more. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Can we address some costing uh, questions? Okay, I can. All right. So uh, in terms of costing, um, our, our analytics are ca based on cameras, uh, number of cameras that are installed. Let's say, for example, uh, we have uh, 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 two cameras or three cameras placed in a catchment area. Let's say, for example, in an airport where people are arriving in, into the into the airport itself. So our cam analytics analytics are based on a uh, uh, number of cameras. We can run multiple ca analytics on a single camera as well, depending on the use case, depending on the requirements, right? So, and our camera our pricing is tier based. So the 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 more number of cameras you have. Uh, the price basically scales downwards. Okay, so there's uh, quite a number of questions on smell. 
Uh, that one I will need to get back. On okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, I think uh, by going through all these questions, we have plenty of questions, many, many questions on here, which we'll address by email. So uh, I think we're, we are running out of time. Uh, thank you again, Harminder, no uh, for sharing your your solution with us. I hope it was informative and uh, I was uh, successful in delivering the content. Um, I am happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, I will definitely go through the list and I will respond to them uh, in uh, in the next few days. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for the audience uh, for staying with us. Uh, there's a survey at the end. Uh, please answer the survey at the end, which is on the same page as the webinar. Uh, if you would like us to respond, please indicate yes in the survey. And or you can email us at insightsaleslmapack at intel.com, which is indicated in the uh, screen as well. So uh, once again, uh, thank you very much for joining us. And once again, thank you, Hamida, for you. sharing uh, your solution with Don't us. Worry. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.